had much ado in the last two weeks about the train wreck that goes coast to coast in this country. Um, we went through a period in the 90s where it didn't look like any Canadian teams would be relevant, and the Canucks kind of fought their way out of that. As we know, it didn't end up in a Stanley Cup, but they got close. Right now, doesn't look like there's any Canadian team in contention or even going to be in the playoffs. First of all, do you believe that's going to happen? Are the Canadian teams going to get shut out, and does it matter? Spoiler alert, this is the subject of the column on, on Sunday, and I think this is a great opportunity for the Vancouver Canucks to reclaim all the territory <laughs> they lost in 2001 and really come back as Canada's team. And this is why I say they are so much more likable now. We have the hipster president, we have the everyman general manager, we have the coach with the porn stash <laughs> from the 70s, we've got all these young Canadian players who, who are good character kids, seem to be all developing, so you know, I understand now the tension like we all realize now that Ryan Kessler's a knob, okay? Yeah. Maybe the rest of Canada was quite to that's realize that quite kind than, to him, just calling him a knob. <laughs> than, than we are. But this is a different Canucks team and I think this is a real opportunity because I also think they might have the best chance of any Canadian team to make the playoffs. That's puzzling to me. I mean, the Leafs are the Leafs. I actually do like that the Leafs seem to be. It is a long-range plan, but they seem to actually be the leading in the plan for well. change. Tanking change very up. well this year, yeah. The Canadians, though, and I know Carey Price is injured, that's a talented roster. Yeah. Like, I know so much of it hinges on Price, but that is a better team than they're showing. I honestly thought with the goaltending from Price, they would be in contention. I don't know why they're so bad, and like, how can they? How can they put so much faith still and the vote of confidence in, in Terry? And I mean, surely this team has to turn around. Yeah, I can't believe they're going to flush this season down the toilet in support of Michel Terry. And it just—it has just gone on way too long. And when you lose back-to-back -back games to Columbus, being outscored, I think it was 10-4 in the two games. That's it. That's the point where you have to cut ties with the coach, bring in somebody new, and see what you can salvage out of the season. Okay, Winnipeg looked like they scraped the ceiling and are coming down now. Cal Ottawa, same similar. Thing. Calgary, yep, same thing. Uh, Edmonton, yeah. who can figure that out? There's so much talent, but the chemistry is all wrong on that but one. But Canada, you got the Canucks. You got the Canucks. Time to get on board. <laughs> Beauty, eh?